So there are several scenarios. One is a mechanical failure of some kind that caused the plane to crash, and it could be a sudden decompression. It, you could have an, an engine part that, that comes loose and punctures the airplane and causes it to decompress at 35,000 feet and, and, and blow apart. If some scenario like that were to be the case, though, where is the debris field? So pilot suicide is a, a possibility. Uh, Egypt Air Flight 990 in 1999, uh, that was the conclusion of federal investigators that the pilot intentionally crashed the plane, although uh, the Egyptian authorities rejected that conclusion. And finally, there's terrorism. Uh, it could have been hijacked, but where's the plane? There's no, so far, there's no solid evidence that of any kind of foul play like that. Early reports that of a couple passengers uh, having stolen passports haven't panned out as being significant. The aviation experts we have talked to have said they don't remember a case exactly like this. We're trying to make sense of a report uh, from the Malaysian military that says that they have picked up a few radar blips in their records from early Saturday morning which conceivably could indicate the plane had been diverted far to the west towards the Andaman Sea. They can't say, well, that is the plane. There have been cases where planes have gone down at sea and it's taken days to find the debris. That happened with the Air France flight in 2009 when it took five days to find the, the debris from that. There's been a crowdsourcing effort with using satellite imagery to try to get ordinary people out there with your home computer to look at satellite images and see if you can see something on, on the, the sea surface uh, that might indicate a debris field. What I would encourage people to be skeptical of any individual data point that comes out of the news coverage because until they find the plane, there's just a lot of speculation. Uh, it, even if the radar track that they have reported uh, picking up, even if that turns out to be true, and that is in fact Flight 370, it still leaves open the question of where is the plane?